So I do have a little bit of a setup, plane on the bottom, a cube that's been modified, and a sphere. And this lesson is about rigid bodies. And rigid bodies is about objects following the laws of physics. The sphere just normally wouldn't hang up in the air. It just doesn't happen. It would fall to the ground. But if, this, if I tried to do this right now, it's not doing anything. So I want to set this up to abide by the laws of physics. And then when it hits this object, I want it to bounce off that. And But just my, my experience with balls bouncing off of something angled, I know that it's going to kind of roll down this. And then when it hits this ground area, this orange plane, um, I want it to roll across the floor a little bit too. Just It just is what would be natural to me. But I can set this all up in the computer. So if I click on this sphere, this sphere needs to react. It needs to have action. It needs to react to this cube. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the sphere. I want to use this tab here. It has like a dot with a half circle. It says physics properties. And there's a whole lot of choices. Um, we are interested in the rigid bodies. That's what we're studying right now. It's what we're learning. And I need to tell it that there's active. Now there's two choices. It's active or passive. Um, right now, this is an active object. It will be falling through the air. And even now, if I hit play, it is active. It follows. It falls just by clicking and telling it that it's a rigid body. So it's already starting to do what I want it to do. Um, it is dynamic as well. Uh, I want it to react to this object, but it's not act reacting to this object yet because I need to do something to this object. Um, and the other thing I need to change is, um, by default, it has its own settings. I want to make sure that it is set to mesh. So I made the mesh change. I made the active change. I set the rigid body for the sphere. But now I need to, I, if I want this sphere to react to this green cube, I need to change the rigid body settings. So same physics properties, same rigid body tabs. This time it's not active. The green cube is not moving. It's just staying there. It's just sitting there. It's a passive object. So I want to make sure it's a passive um, object set here in the computer. It is also a mesh object. And at this point, if I play, it now interacts with that cube. It just doesn't interact with the plane. So now you know what to do. I need to take this plane and make it a rigid body. It is not active, it just sits there. Um, and I need to change this to mesh. And if I play it, it now interacts with both of the items that I have here. Some other things. I'm not going to play with these right now, but I do want you to know that in your settings, for instance, this, this, this sphere, there are settings to mess with the friction and the bounciness. I can change the mass to make it heavier or lighter. Um, so there are settings in here that you can also play with. I'm happy with what I have right now. And the last step, I want to render it. And I'm familiar with rendering. I know I can go to render animation. I know that I have my camera already set up for the angle that I want to render it from. Um, I know how to set my settings, but there is one change. Um, before I can render this, I never did any timeline keyframing, a keyframing um, as we learned in animation. So all the keyframes have to be set and the computer can do that. It can set all of these, these different keyframes that need to be set. I don't want to have to do that myself. It's too much animation. So if I click on this tool right here, the scene properties, in here, there is a section that says rigid body world. Now my carrot, the, uh, the carrot, the triangle beside it was already selected because I used it recently. So I want to click on that if I need to open that up. I also want to open up cache. If it's not open, if it's collapsed, I want to click on the carrot, the triangle beside it to open that up. And underneath there, there's a bunch of different things and it's baking is what I want to do. And that sets the keyframe for every single frame in here. Every single place this sphere is in this timeline, it's setting all of those. It's baking them in. Then once I have that set, I'm going to go ahead and set it up for an animation. 
And now I have my camera view and it is rendering each one of these files as it drops, making my movie. Everything's abiding by the laws of physics. I have my active object, my passive objects, two things that are not moving. Rigid bodies, that's what we're learning.